This is Mark with the Cover Cats of Robertsdale, Alabama. Yes, we do upholstery, but sometimes we have to do a few other things. Now, our customer came to us and told us we couldn't get their shower drain cover off. Well, I'm posting this video because after some extensive searching and looking on the internet, we could not find anything that was even remotely related to these. Fortunately, I actually know how these things come off. Now, you can see that there is a tab here in the center or a knockout in the center for a screwdriver. Well, you can use that, but you probably end up butchering it before you get it off. There's so much scum in here that uh, you're going to end up basically uh, tearing up the drain cover or the strainer or something else is going to happen. And you're going to have to end up going to Lowe's or something like that and finding another drain cover. So, on the extremities, on the outside, as far as you can take it out, you take your needle nose pliers and you're going to basically cycle and toggle this back and forth. All right, once this way, then once that way, once this way, until it finally breaks loose. And just a fingernail will take it out. Now, look, there's going to be a lot of scum in here and it's going to be difficult at first. As a matter of fact, this one took pretty much everything I had. So I went a little bit one way and a little bit went the other way. Uh, plumbers don't want you to know how these things come out because they're going to make that money. All right. So I'm the whistleblower. This is how they come off. This is what you can do for yourself as a homeowner. Be sure to replace that when you're done. Don't forget to take that hairball out of there. And your drain should be working properly. This is Mark with the Cover Cats of Robertsdale. Thanks for watching.